This is section 16.2.1, number one. Uh, it's the first example that we're doing on a line integration. And this one's kind of a classic. Uh, we've got a function, uh, ds. We're not evaluating a dot product. It's just the function itself. So what I want to do is parameterize the, uh, the ds uh, by turning it into a uh, position vector. So uh, let's do that. This one's just a straight line between uh, 1, 2, 0, and 2, 1, 3. So in terms of parameters, x is going to be equal to 1 plus uh, t. Uh, y is going to be equal to 2 minus t. And z is going to be equal to 0 uh, plus 3t. Uh, and again, this will then draw that segment between these two points as long as t ranges between 0 and 1. So this is my goal is to evaluate this as a time integral instead of a distance integral. Of course, we'll have to do some substituting. First thing we've got to do is figure out what our r vector is going to be. So r will now actually be uh, 1 plus t, 2 minus t, and 3t. And then because we want to evaluate the integral by taking this function times the magnitude of the r vector's first derivative, dt, we need the first derivative of this. So r prime would be equal to, uh, that's just 1, negative 1, and 3. And of course, the magnitude of that r prime magnitude is going to be 9, 10, 11, the square root of 11. So that will become uh, our, our integrand. x, of course, over here is 1 plus t. And y squared is, let's just write the whole integrand, x, y squared is 2 minus t quantity squared. So that now we can build our integrand. It's going to be the integrand or integral from 0 to 1 for t. Uh, this is our argument, 1 plus t, 2 minus t quantity squared. And then we need the uh, r prime magnitude, square root of 11, and this will all be dt. So that models this integral perfectly, except instead of going along the path as a distance integral, we've parameterized it, so now we can do it as a time integral. And the answer once you've performed that integral is 13 square root of 11 over 4.